Okay, I'm going to compile this application. Rebuild solution. Build succeeded, um, as this output shows. And I'm going to run this app on my phone. Uh, I, I could run it on the emulator, but it is. Uh, I found that it's actually faster to develop with a device for the reason that uh, the deployment is almost instantaneous. And uh, if you are uh, like me, where you have a VM environment with Windows, uh, running emulator tends to be a little bit slow. So I'm just going to run this app. And I have a little app here that shows uh, the, the screen of my phone right there. So the application runs. And as you can see, it shows a list of methods. In this case, we have one method for the service uh, from which this particular app was generated. Now, uh, before we run the actual invocation that does the you know, invocation from phone to our Java service, we need to configure the web web URL. And in this case, I can click on this button. And uh, in here, uh, it shows the URL, uh, the default URL, which is localhost colon 8080. I'm not sure if you, you should be able to see it right there on the screen. And uh, uh, the local host in the context of the phone app doesn't really make sense. So we need to point it to, uh, to my uh, computer where uh, WebWarp is running. So for this, I'm just going to run command prompt window. Okay, here it is. So my, the IP address of my computer is 192.168.8.10. And uh, that's what I'm going to enter. OK, so it was 192.168.8.10. And we can check whether this is a valid URL. Here it is. It says Web Warp URL is valid. I click OK and accept the URL. So at this point, if I select the actual method, get weather, uh, the interface will show you a, a list of all the arguments that this particular method accepts. And um, it, you cannot see it very well because of the glare on the screen. But really, this is just a form that has a line for every argument, as well as the input. Uh, field and in this case the argument is the zip code. So if I click on that field and just enter the zip code, let's say it is 75001, which is where we are, and click invoke. Here it is. We got the result and it shows the, the actual data structure that is returned by by our web warp service. So this is uh, a sample application that lets you invoke methods on your services directly from the phone. Now to to switch back to the code. The actual app is structured uh, in the way where I'm going to stop this app. Uh, it contains two projects in this solution. So there is a project for the UI invoker app, and there is a library. So this library, it's, it's called Remote Service Library, is completely reusable. So if you are building your Windows Phone 7 application, you can just import this library, and it contains all the code that includes the functionality for handling remote method invocations. Uh, for uh, for your services hosted in WebWarp, either .NET or Java. And uh, the API is very, very straightforward. In fact, if we go here into actual service, you can see that the API consists of creating an instance of WebWarp client. And uh, it, uh, it actually includes the default, uh, the, the URL for the service. And it, for every single method, it has the method uh, the corresponding methods on the client side, which will handle the actual invocation. So the, the remote invocation looks like this. We do web warp client, dot invoke, and then specify the class that we target, as well as the method name and the array of arguments. And you can also pass in the responder. So this is this, these are the methods that are exposed through this remote service library. It's very, very straightforward. And it contains support for really a variety of different types. You can pass in primitives, complex types, collect collections, uh, enumerations, absolutely anything that would be natural to use in the Windows Phone 7 environment. So this is the dem demonstration of promoting. And uh, uh, definitely, once, uh, once you can get a hold of this functionality, it is already available for Java. And we're going to be doing a push for WebWorker.net uh, 
really my any time uh, I guess in the next week or so and by the time you'll be watching this video it's already going to be available for download download give it a try and uh, let us know what you think okay so now we're going to be switching uh, to our next topic and uh, but if you have any questions uh, about promoting please feel free to type them up and I'll be happy to answer them <laughs>